Yeah. Chef Mohammed. Okay. Yes. Your name is? Seb. Okay. You ask a question uh, that the Quran has more than one version. And how many you said that good band? Five. Five good band and one left. This is what you are saying? Okay. All right. Now, the question is to you. Those five virgins, you, you, you are Christian or so? I don't know, maybe. So, no, I don't think it makes a difference. Okay, so, so the one which is left, is it true or is it wrong? The one which is left, is it true or is it wrong? So, for example, some people, they come and ask this question, and that's a common question. Because I just wanted to know what's the motive, if they know. For example, they say, there are some good band and some stain. The one that good band, do they contain the truth, which they good band, and the one which stayed, they contain the truth yeah, or not, right. according to your understanding? What do you think? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. I okay. don't know. So you don't know. So that's why, because we get some people, they, they just wanted to find a way to attack the Quran. They will say, oh, the, some of them, they good band. And I will tell you something, yeah? The Quran in the beginning, of that, that the Quran preservation is different than any other book because the preservation of the Quran was through memorization. It wasn't through written only. Written was an extra thing. It was not the main thing. The main thing was memorization. So it was memorized from generation to another generation. Now what happened at the time of the Prophet peace be upon him, there used to be people who used to write the Quran. And they used to write it on patches and on, 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 on scrolls and different things, whatever they have, sometimes on bones, sometimes on the, you know, on palm tree leaves, whatever. They will do different things. Now, until at the time of Abu Bakr, عنه, he kind of, he got the committee and brought the, the Sahaba to write down the Quran, how it was written. Now, they're still in the, you know, in the amongst people, certain things, certain writings. So at the time of Uthman, which is the third Khalif, what he did, he decided to bring all the, if there is anything other than the, the standard copy that was a, a, affirmed and approved and proven in terms of the, uh, by the companion, by the committee, who were known in terms of narrating the Quran. So anyone who would follow the standard, that's how it should be. This is the original copy. And that's why he burned every single other thing. And that's why what we have is actually the pure Quran which was in chain. Does that make sense? Yeah, Were you educated about it now? Sorry? Are you educated yeah. about it now? Now the question is to you. Do you know any book on earth that has been memorized by 15 million people? There is only one, is the Quran. And those people who memorize the Quran, they memorize it generation after generation, meaning this generation learned it from a generation before. So it goes all the way back. We are not using only the written Quran, rather than it's the memorization that's the main thing in order. That's how the Quran was preserved throughout the time. So the way of the, the, way of the preservation of the Quran, it takes high standard, even including the vows. It was memorized, it was preserved and protected. And that's why the Quran, which is the written one, is just only to affirm what was being memorized. So one, one last question. Do you know how these different versions came about? There is no different version. There is different uh, pronunciation. Like for example, is English accent and English UK or British English, is it similar to American English? Similar. So that's why it's exactly the same thing. There used to be different people who used to pronounce certain things differently, but we are talking about the same thing. So content-wise, they were, they were the same? Not just content, exactly the same, but it's a way of pronunciation. So some people will say, Adib, and some people they will say, Adib. Some people they will say, uh, for example, Wadduha. Some people will say, Wadduhe. So it's a way of pronunciation. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah? Cheers. Did thank it answer you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Now, know, does the Quran make sense to you now? I don't know enough about it. I need to go and do some research. So if I prove to you the Quran is the true word of God, will you accept to be Muslim today? No, not today. God. Even if it's the truth, you will not accept? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm telling you, if Quran makes sense to you, not to me, will you accept to be Muslim? I don't know. If it makes sense to you. I feel like this is not the time or place. I feel like it's quite a crash. Everything. 
What, what is it? Is it a... Do you want me to stop the camera rolling? I, up, up to you. I don't mind. For me, for me, the priority are the are you, not the cameras. Understand, understand. But don't worry about Sam. I'm good. Thank you, Shay. Yeah. Do you have Do you have a Quran? At home. I've got one at home actually. Okay. Did you read it? Not yet. Okay. I got it. It's actually this foundation online that they give free Quran. Which foundation? What they are called? Uh, I can't remember. So we generally we advise you to read something. You you said you came from Christian background, kind of. You guessed. Well, you generally you came. You are British, yeah? No, I'm not. I'm from Chile. From Chile. Okay, which is Christian background? It was colonized by Spain. Yeah. Which is Christian background? That's my point. Yeah, but you guessed that. I didn't say it. Yeah, anyways. Thank you. So, do you need do you need to have another copy of the Quran or you are okay with that? Thank you. Uh, do you have any questions for me? Huh? You answered my question. Thank you, sir. Do you have any questions for me? Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. Look after yourself. All right. Come back. You see, uh, some people, they will have some misconceptions about Islam and that they will just only use their knowledge, unfortunately, about Islam. And that's what we say to them. Go back to the sources that we have about the Quran to understand Islam. How Allah Azza wa Jalla has revealed it upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.